Okay, so now what we need to talk about is the most common system for mathematicians to write all of this very physical stuff down on pieces of paper. And we use this thing called identification diagrams. So let's say I've got my strip of paper. <clears throat> I could make an annulus, but no, that's boring. We're going to make a Mobius strip. So I took my annulus, twisted one half side, bam, Mobius strip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Sharpie and I'm going to mark on here which way these guys are sewn together. And I'm going to do that with an arrow, right? So that when I know that when I'm putting this together, I know which way to put these together. And so then when I open this up, what happens is here I have an arrow pointing upward but here I have an arrow pointing downward. And so if I copy that arrow on this other side, all of a sudden I have what's called an identification diagram for a Mobius strip. It actually gives you instructions on how to put this together. So let's say you saw this, and the arrows mean you should sew these two edges together, but in different directions. Well, you try to put this together, and let me copy the arrow over here, you want to put this thing together, and so you turn the edges like this, and you're like, ah, oh, they're backwards. But if I were to turn this around, now the arrows match. Now I can tape my shape together. So what we do is we just draw a rectangle on paper, and we use the arrows to indicate how the edges should be sewn together. And here is the identification diagram for the annulus. You have your strip of paper. You draw arrows on the two short ends, indicating that these two edges should be taped together. Just simple, just bring them around and tape them and you're done. And here is the identification diagram again for the Mobius strip. And it's hard to indicate that half twist on paper, but the idea is this should be the paper like twisting in front to make that half twist. And so those two arrows mean foo, sew together backwards. Now here is the paper version of the experiments that we did in the previous videos. If you take an annulus and you cut it in half down the middle, what happens in the identification diagram is you have one line going down the middle. You know that the midpoint over here is actually taped to the midpoint over there. And in this 3D depiction here, what happens is you know that you're gonna cut that annulus in half. Now on the other hand, I could make that same cut in the Mobius strip. And I know that the midpoint is taped to the midpoint, so that gold line is just gonna turn into a circular cut. And what happens is, if I were to trace this around, what would happen is, please note that this point right here actually is taped up here, right? And this point, which is at the very tippy tip of the arrow on the left, will be taped to this point on the tippy tip of the arrow on the right. So when I try to analyze this identification diagram and figure out how many pieces are there, I know that this piece is all one continuous strip. And if I were to walk this way and walk off the edge of the Mobius band, I would reappear down here. And I would keep walking, walking, walking all the way off the other edge and I would reappear here. So that's one way of understanding that when you cut down the center of a Mobius strip you actually get a single piece. Here's the other activity that we did. If you cut a Mobius strip into thirds, why is it that you get two different components? Well, if I were to start right here in this middle strip and I were to start walking, walk, 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 well, I would walk off the edge of the Mobius strip somewhere in this middle third. The middle third is taped to the middle third, right, when you do that half twist. And so you're trapped in between these gold lines. No matter how many laps you take, you're always in that middle strip. On the other hand, if I were to start up here and I started walking towards the right, walk, 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 and I walk off the edge of this Mobius strip, I'm behind that arrowhead, right? I reappear right here. And so you can get from the top strip to the bottom strip just by walking, but you can't break into that middle piece. And so that's one way to see that when you cut the mummy's band in the thirds, you actually get two separate loops.